Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here in Zephyrtown. I hope your day is going wonderfully. And uh, first on the agenda, after we collect these eggs, I need to show you a bit of a mess up that I did. Um, but other than that, today is um, Felix's birthday and did not get cheese for him wrapped. So that's unfortunate, um, but I mean, we can still give him the cheese, it's just that we didn't wrap it. And then we're going to hopefully try to trigger Isaac's diet uh, random event on Monday, and of course this Sunday is the bazaar. But before any of that, oh look, we have two trees flowering here in the summer section. Well, what is this? This... This is not a cherry tree. I don't know what it is. I'm pretty sure it's an apple tree. But I, I guess what happened is that either I planted a cherry tree in the wrong spot, which, huh, that actually might be the case. But anyway, um, yeah, we're going to be wanting to get uh, cherry tree seeds at, at the bazaar this week because... Yeah, that's apparently an apple tree, and I forgot to remove it. And we sold off all of our other tree seeds, and yeah, so unfortunate. So tree cherry trees, they're sold by Diego's Delights in summer. And let's see, the other one is oranges. That's the last tree that we don't have. Well, we might maybe we don't have a cherry tree. And hopefully we don't, because that anyway. Because that would be an even bigger mess up than than I had previously assessed. That's that's one, and then the other one, the orange tree seeds, are sold by Sherry's uh, Sherry Seeds. And so we'll get one of those. They're short sold by Sherry Seeds in year three. Or later. Uh, usually it's the coffee the coffee tree that you get last, but that isn't the case with us because we got coffee beans from from Felix for what was it getting first place without winning reputation at the 75% bazaar something like that all right first of the season everything is planted and watered well everything the outside crops are basement crops still need to be watered and ooh more yellow peppers Yo Something else we're going to be looking for at the bazaar this week is the next wonderful. I forget what color it is. I think it's yellow. Uh, but what the what the wonderful that's sold at this week's bazaar will do is for every five of an item that we put in the windmill, we get six back. So, for example, if we put in five milk, then we'll get six cheese. Which... As you might imagine, is great for making profits, or for making stuff to gift. Uh, in addition to that, um, and it's like, and so for example, like if you put in ten seeds or ten crops, you'll get back twenty-four seeds. Which, I mean, that's not bad. That certainly is a great use for it. But we'll actually be putting it in in this windmill, in the fermenting one. So we can get extra fertilizer and, well, and milk and things like that. Milk and mayonnaise and all that stuff. Well, maybe not mayonnaise. The thing is, is that it seems like that's a great one to put in the manufacturing windmill, but how often do you really process jewelry in batches of five or greater? So really the only time it's useful is when making coins or when making wool. And... I, I personally just think we'd be better off focusing on the fertilizer aspect of it. The fertilizer and the cheese and all that kind of stuff. One other thing I'd like to get done at the bazaar, I'd like to start doing, is to... Excuse me. Hello, how are you doing? Is to start wrapping various presents. Oh, omelette rice. Thank you very much, Ray. It's my favorite. For Emiko and Amir and Raul. Because as I was saying before, 
if we're gonna lose on our goal to get them get every villager up to five stars by the end of the year, it's gonna be one of them that does it. Just because, well, we've got really low friendship with them and we don't know any of their favorite dishes. So that's a bit of a problem. But by wrapping the presents that we give them every day, that vastly increases the chance that we'll be able to get them up to five stars by the end of by the end of the year. Especially if we use their favorite color of wrapping paper, which um, well, you know, it's me, so yeah, I'll do. What is this for me? Thank you very much. Oh, I. I just wanted to confirm whether or not you could give not-so-fresh stuff. And it turns out that you can. Alright. We will be replacing the Green Wonderful in this... in this windmill, uh, pretty soon. Pretty soon-ish. Uh, sometime in fall. Because the last two Wonderfuls are sold in fall and then in winter. And the second to last wonderful is actually pretty great. It's the red wonderful, and that increases the star quality of the finished product by a half a star, which doesn't seem like a lot, but when it comes to jewelry, oh my goodness, does that make a difference. Hi there, Ray. Good afternoon, Ray. You look well. I also wouldn't mind uh, getting something for Ethel. Getting maybe flowers. Ooh, she likes pink cat flowers, doesn't she? And it's summer, so a present, thank you. Yes, indeed, she does. So we can work on getting Ethel's friendship up for the next uh, for the next month, and that should be that should have a pretty significant effect. We might even get her at max friendship uh, before the end before the end of summer, but. Even if not, we can probably make up the rest of it. Alright, we'll try some oolong tea. Honestly, that would probably be a good thing to give to Claude, but we already know that he likes blue magic flowers and we have plenty of them, so it's fine. Mmm, delicious. Now we need to head over and give Felix his birthday present, because... Oh, yeah, yeah. We forgot to wrap it, but it's fine. We, we've got Felix really high up there in friendship, so we should be able to max him out by the end of the year, especially just giving him cheese every day. Oh, a birthday present? This is great! Thank you, Ray! Also, if you remember, I was talking about that wonderful that we're going to be getting at this bazaar if Diego sells it. And I would like to save up our weeds for that so that we can get extra fertilizer from it. And that way we can have more high quality fertilizer to go around, which will be quite important given the whole cherry tree situation. And Tau, tau Trio is producing five star eggs. Well, one of them is anyway. And the others should follow soon after. So that's nice. That's less space and storage that will be taken up with eggs with lower quality ingredients. So how about that? Oh! Cherry, don't let me forget to give you your herb salad every day. You'd think she'd get sick of it, but apparently not. And I'm glad. I'm glad she doesn't get sick of it. We need to replant the spinach. And is the wheat done today? The wheat's done today. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna need to replant that too. Bay here, red hair. Oh my goodness. That is pretty late. Um, Raul's not selling anything new. Chen's not selling anything new. And he's still not selling oil. And Lloyd, of course, still is not selling gold. Selling moonstones. And adamantite, but not gold. Well, that is unfortunate. 57,600 for the emerald bracelet. The others will be done by the time the next bazaar rolls around, but... Well... Oh, by the way, 2400 G for a three-star ball of goodwill. Good wool, whereas five-star regular wool only sells for 1450. So, yeah, it's... 
it's pretty nice. The good, the higher quality wool is is very nice to be having and to be selling. Matcha wool, sea urchins, asparagus, strawberries, eggs. Oh, sorry. Emerald bracelet. Oh, sorry to bother you. Do you know where the carpenter is located? On the right side. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. Well, you're very welcome. Hey, did someone named Lucy come by here earlier? Crying by the animal shop? Oh, she was crying? Honestly, what would she do without me? Well, I'll head over to the animal shop then. Oh, I don't have enough money for this bottled walnut. How about for half price? What? Really? You're so kind. Thank you. Yes, we can. Oh, good. I was just looking for Lloyd's stand. It's down and to the right. Where it always is. How long have you lived here? Come on. Come on, Antoinette. Did you real? Were you really here for directions? And if so, then why are you still hanging out? He just likes to sit here and admire me working. Let's... That's the truth of it, but that's okay. Hmm, this ball of wool. What about it? You can have it. You can't have it. You can have it. What? Th thank you. Pretty sure that Antoinette likes balls of wool, which kind of makes sense because, you know, the whole fashion thing. I think there's... Isn't one of her heart events where she talks about, like, actually making outfits or... Reading through her mother's books for designing them? I can't go on anymore. Not another step. I'm boot. I might be okay if I had this egg. Why, though? But, you know what? Here, take it. It's yours. Just giving away free stuff. That's how you get people to like you. That's how you become... The best store in the world, right? That certainly won't attract just the kind of people that want stuff for free. Hmm, you have a lot of things on sale. Do you like run running a stall at the bazaar? Yeah, it's fun. No, it's not very fun. Why don't you open a stall? You know what? I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna do it. I think we're, we're close to winning on reputation if we haven't won it already. So you know what? Why don't you open a stall? So, what? I never even considered that. I would like some place to sell all the accessories I've made. And yet, she will never open a stall. Which is kind of sad. Like, she should be able to. Like, you should be able to... I don't know. Hey, you there. Could you give me this black egg? Of course not. Sure. Oh, thank you. I'm actually a secret critic. Just kidding. I just like getting stuff for free. Thanks. That's, that's, that's how you become... A, a, rep, a business with great reputation, right? Is you just give everything away for free. Uh, don't actually do that. Don't actually follow that advice. I am being sarcastic. All that does is just attract people, the kind of people that want to get everything for free. And this is why Reseteer is a better capitalism simulator than Grand Bazaar. So far, you've earned 122,980G. Still have a ways to go to meet the goal. Yeah, you're... You're telling me. Goodness. We don't really have much chance of anything above third place. And even then... We need to get pretty lucky. I'll tell you that. Wait. Third place prize? What is... Oh, emerald. Okay. For some reason I was thinking... Well, I don't know. Play the lotto. Five bronze coins. Okay, then let's see just how lucky you are. Sixth place prize. Dang it. Ay, ay, ay. Hello there. Welcome to Isaac's Info Center. Would you like to know all kinds of inside info, Ray? Is 100G okay? Sure. Well, this is just a rumor, really. If you see something like a flower on the ground, pick it up right away. 
it won't be there the next day, so if you see something you like, grab it. If any other hot info comes along, you'll certainly hear about it. Okay. I mean, that doesn't seem like hot info. I'm pretty sure I already knew all that. Scones, carpaccio, or miso eggplant. Well, it must be done. Handing out miso eggplant to everyone at some point, I'm sure. I don't know if we'll be doing that today, but we'll certainly be doing that sometime this week. Oh, AC, well, stop by any time you're hungry. All right. This is gonna take a while. All right, so we're done. We are finally done wrapping all of these. Oh, goodness. It's a great way to boost friendship pretty quickly, but oh, gosh. Is it frustrating because you can only do one at a time? All right, let's see how lucky we are right now. Fourth place prize, Material Stone. Uh, not so lucky so far. A, third place prize, Bottled Walnuts. Um, getting better. And, bl and brick, blank, whatever you prefer. Third place prize again, bottled chestnuts. And one last one. And it's also a brick. Man, not great luck today, huh? Hey. Welcome, welcome. Would you like your fortune red? It's just 100G. Sure, tell me my fortune. Abracadabra, what fate lies in wait for you? Your lucky color is black. You should express your individuality. So, did that enlighten you at all? Well, I am wearing all black and, uh, not, not, not feeling particularly lucky, so, sorry, no. Oh, and we need to, that's right, so we need to get the orange tree seeds here. What a sweetie. Our wife, the sweetie. And we need to get cherry seeds here. We are going to wait, and we are going to see when that tree finally grows fully. Um, and the, still, still no dark, dark color pointed eared dog. Okay. So, as you may have guessed, the the last of our Suffolks will not be named after an evolution, because of course there aren't any left. And instead. will be a Wooloo. Originally I was gonna do Shaman because I had all of the names picked out before the 8th generation came out, but um, Shaman's gonna be for something else, which you might be able to guess if you've been paying attention to what animals we have. Anyway, and that is the last of the of the cows or the sh and sheep that we can afford. Or, well, not that we can afford, that we can have. Because it looks like you don't have anywhere to put them. I can't sell them to you. See? So. And then this little silky will be... Mew! Yes, Mew is okay. Thanks, take good care of him. Alright. Unfortunately, only one silky and only one Suffolk. But, hey, cat bell. Cool. I'm sure it will come in handy as well. Because we are bound to lose another cat bell at some point. Do I always want to have a backup? Fish paste, potato pancakes. I don't think we've actually given potato pancakes. So, let's get some of those. I hope the people that we give them to like it. Alright. What have you got, Nelly? Corn cereal. Part of a balanced breakfast. Okay. Who made corn cereal? Thank you. Yes. 
Ooh, it doesn't have any corn in it. Oh. Cookies with herbs. Oh my goodness. And that's what we're going to be having today. Alright. So we'll start with the potato pancakes. Giving those to everybody. And then we'll, we'll go from there. Hi there! We're the famous comedy duo Lucy and Ricky. Thank you for inviting us to perform here today. No one invited you. Where's Lucy? What? Lucy's not here? Where did she go? I can't do this by myself. Come back here, Lucy! You got some splaining to do! Whoops. No. No. I'm trying to sell stuff, not, not escape. I don't know if these are chestnuts or walnuts, but there's milk. Is there anybody? We got so much milk. Just buy some milk, please. Oh, and we should give Felix some potato pancakes too. Don't know if he'll like them, but that's fine. And yeah, our luck today for the the lucky lotto and the super lucky lotto was not good enough that we could reach the goal. Don't think we're actually going to get third, but we should be able to win reputation, so. I hope we'll see you all again next time! So far you've earned 126,070 G. Still have a ways to go to meet the goal, but... But we can't though, that's the, that's the thing. We can't meet the goal. So why do you say we have a ways to go? Hmm? It's late! Shouldn't you get to bed soon? Oh, how nice! Thank you, Ray! Oh, Ray. I'm sleepy. It's gotten so boring since you got married. We don't hang out anymore. When did we ever hang out before? We've been friends for a while, but you still have a lot to learn. There are many layers to pulling pranks. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe Cindy could teach you a little bit more about that. <laughs> what? I'm not sleepy. Thanks. I'm impressed that you know what I like. You mean food? Um, good evening. Isn't it kind of late? For me? Th thank you very much. Ray, you come to see me so often. Uh, it's just... Not many people actually talk to me. Oh. So why do you think I talk so much? It's obviously because Lauren doesn't like to talk at all. It's... I've gotten... I've got to even it out. Alright, so now that we have all... 10 cows and 10 sheep. Uh, this is kind of a test of seeing whether or not the the doggos can take care of all of them. And I'm pretty sure that they can, and so we don't actually need to... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm, here we go. We can put away the dog bone and we don't need to worry about about that. Well, let's go to the... let's go to the bizarre results and then we'll and then I'll talk about that. Great! Looks like everybody is here! It's time to announce the bizarre results! Our top three earners in third place with 156,000 G! Wilbur, congratulations! In second place with 170,000 G! Jones Store, congratulations! And in first place with 206,000 G, Claire Store, congratulations! You know, Lloyd, if you'd have sold gold, you'd probably have gotten first. And the person with the happiest customers was. Ray! Customers seem to like your attitude towards running a business! You mean Antoinette likes my attitude towards running a business. <gasps> you old and the down proud! Keep up the good work! And for Ray, I have a present from a customer! A Doria! I can tell your customers really like you! A goal to be the best bazaar in the world is now... Getting close! We can do this! Let's keep this pace going! Actually, I think that's getting closer, but 
They said Closel instead. Our goal for the next bazaar is 150,000 or 200,000 G. We can do it. Well, that's all for now. Start getting ready for the next bazaar. Okay, cool. I think this should be more than enough carrot seeds. 18 plus whatever we've got in there. Which I think all of that total... Well, 836 actually. I think we should be at 90 carrot seeds. And so, gonna want to do two more rows of cauliflower and then one row of spinach. And, uh, well, just keep growing the spinach in that row until the cauliflower is done. Wilbur's birthday. Well, we'll just get him some cheese. Oh, and of course our child is being born next episode. So, make sure to tune in for that. All right. All right. So the barn seems to be empty. So it looks like our dogs can in fact take care of all of them and what is this? Yo. Yo. What? Yo. Yo. Why why did half of our regular chickens not produce eggs and one of our silkies? What? What? Let let me see. Let me see. What's the stress level on each of these? If they went without eating, then they should be stressed, even if they've been out there for a few hours. Did those- did they just disappear because I didn't get to them in time? I think that's probably the case. Oh, anyway. But we can stop, you know, playing with our doggos... ...or a day now. Stop that. Because they're all trained up, and so... Yeah. We technically don't even need the fifth doggo, but we're gonna get a fifth doggo anyway, because, well, it doesn't actually, it doesn't actually cost us anything, frankly, to, to do that. Um, you might think it would, because, you know, extra pet food, but we need to feed two cans either way, and so, two cans feeds nine, two cans every day feeds nine, and two cans every day feeds ten. Now we could wait until our animals have eaten instead of feeding them the night before, but we won't. All right, F uh, four and a half star peach. Well, I was kind of hoping for five star, but okay. Oh wait, no, Ivan, we already know what he likes. Wilbur, we don't know necessarily what he likes, but we do know that he likes cheese. You getting good exercise on your farm? Exercise is important. A birthday present? Oh, this is nice, thanks. Unfortunately, didn't get it wrapped. I am sorry, Wilbur. That is my bad. Hey, Ray. What are you up to? Taking a break from work? Something like that. Seriously? You're giving this to me? Uh, but I don't like these very much. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, Ray. Hello. For me? Thanks. Hello there, Ray. Feel free to ask me any questions. For me? Thanks. Let's have some pancakes. How about that? I think Isaac likes pancakes, if I remember correctly. So we could get some for him. But then we might get, end up getting stuck with a whole bunch of pancakes if he doesn't actually like them. But you know what? That wouldn't be too bad. We'll just go ahead and grab some. Eh, 20 maybe. Because Isaac is someone that we need to work on, whose friendship we need to work on, because uh, we still haven't found really much to give him that he really likes. And so we gotta... We gotta do something about that. For me, me, thank you. That's very nice of you, Ray. And cereal's kind of like a soup, right? Hello there, Ray. Are you eating well? Actually, it kind of is. I really like this, thanks. Like, what's the difference between cereal and soup? I mean, you can... There are certain soups that you eat cold, that, that you're supposed to eat cold, like, what was it? Vichyssoise or whatever? And a lot of soups that... Oh, how nice! Thank you, Ray! That, you know, you primarily... That, that... They're... they're liquid is primarily milk so what what makes a cereal not a soup 
kind of having a little bit of an existential crisis on that one. We've got a 45 minute window, and I think we'll make it. Well, I mean 45 minutes in game, 45 seconds in real life. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, come on! Get out of the way, get out of the way! Seconds. We got this. We have a question for everybody. How does everybody view me? What do you want to hear? Am I overweight? <gasps> well, you didn't think you were skinny, right? You're a fatty. You have a little extra weight. <gasps> you will really think that? Oh. Well, I can't just let these comments slide. I'm going to start losing weight today. I'll help us serving you half portions then. Um, well, do do that. You're never gonna lose weight. You do like eating. Oof. Don't worry, honey. I like you just the way you are. I mean, man's not willing to die. I mean, okay. The whole thing, like, half portions, that's not, that's not really a good way to do it. It's not good to starve yourself. And the problem with people overeating is not just that they, oh, like eating. It's generally more what they eat and the problems that that causes. So. And then, the, and then you know, the fact that what they eat makes them hungry very, very soon afterwards and it also encourages their body to put away fat, all this kind of stuff. But that's... That's a whole nother video. Anyway, but that's Isaac's diet event. And unfortunately, the struggle is real for poor Isaac. We're just gonna do a few few hops into the river. And I don't expect us to go to get gold this episode. And there it is. Cause, Cause why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't we get gold as soon as I said that I don't expect us to get gold this episode? That is absolutely ridiculous. Why? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, yeah. The timing on that pre-recorded. This is this is all pre-recorded. This is not actually live commentary. I plan it for maximum comedic value. Uh, well, uh, unfortunately I'm gonna have to end it here, I'm gonna have to be very quick about it, but I hope you enjoyed this episode, I hope the rest of your day is a good one, and I hope to see you later. Bye.